an industry. Alright. Um, just bear with me while my neighbours disturb the peace. As you can tell, someone's drilling next door. So, sorry about that. Alright, it seems to have finished. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing is... My mistake, he's still making loads of noise. Right, the next thing we're going to be doing is writing up our file writer. So let's go ahead and create the few variables we'll be using in here. Damn neighbours. Right, I took the liberty of writing up the whole write file method. Right, so we've got a buffer writer, and we're going to call our buffer writer writer. And we're going to create a new right, um, a new buffer writer for our variable writer. And that's going to be a new file writer with the input file name. And then we're going to say write, write the long to string, so that's our variable here, we're going to treat it as a string and we're going to write it to the file, using this, well, this, and then we're going to say write a close to quit out, so it doesn't continue to do anything. And that's pretty much it, um, I've added froze exception, io exception, because I missed that part out, to our constructor and our main method, and I've also given Yep, I was right by the way. We didn't need the file what was it? Where is it? File not found exception inside our main constructor. I was wrong about that part, so I removed that. And I also renamed this part here because IOE is already defined inside our class, so I just called it EX. And that's pretty much it. So I'll quickly recap, uh, we've got our imports our s main class we have our main method which throws io exceptions and it creates a new cons uh, constructor of our main method which this is our constructor and that also throws io exceptions it will read the file to read the value to assign it to our value um, it will check if the value is zero if it's zero then it will say it's a one if it's not zero then it will times it by itself whatever it itself may be at that time then it will write the file then it will say our value is now now is to um, prompt us with what or not prompt us to display to us what our value currently is at that time. All right, I've also just noticed I've done something wrong here. This code has to be inside our try. Right. So we've got try, and it will attempt to do all this here. And if not, then it will catch the wrong number, so if it exceeds the data type, and if it does, then we're going to do these following steps here to fix our our program, or our script code, what you want to call it. Um, if that fails, then catch any other errors, ex exception, exceptions. Uh, we've got our two methods we created, read file and write file. Excuse me. Um, they both throw IO exceptions, we've got our three variables, and our single variable for our writers. We create new instance of our readers and writers. We write the file, then we close that line, and we set our var our value to the value of the content of that file's line. And that's pretty much it. And I'll quickly run that for you. And file. And there's our value. If we quickly delete. No, nope, the one inside data. Right, so I've created a new directory and I've put a file in there called. Well, actually, sorry, I'll just create a new directory called data. And I'll go ahead and run that. And it's created our class. Well, not our class, our file. Files.txt as, as identified. And our value is 1. And we go ahead and run that and our value is 2. And again, our value is 4. I'm going to check that. We've got four. Going again, we've got eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, hundred and twenty-eight, etc., etc. Six, five, five, three, six. Keep going until it hits the exception. Do, 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 do. And there you go. You hit the exception, and when we do it again. Okay, there's a problem with this. One second. Alright, there's one part I missed out using the file input uh, import 
on the IO library was to create the file if it didn't exist. So I'm going to go ahead and do that quickly. Right, so if the file doesn't exist, create it and write the content of the file. So that was the part I missed. So it was unable to um, to handle if the number exceeded our format, uh, our long, our maximum value for our long data type. So I'll go ahead and compile that. And run and run again. No, still not working. One second. Right, so I managed to fix the problem. What I did was is I told it to print out the value at this point, and I gave that one at the front of it, so I could identify it between these three here, and checked out what the output was. So I compile it quickly and run. So we've got one, our value is zero. So at this point, our value equals zero, because by default, until we set it to whatever the um, value of this file is, it will be zero. So at this point, it's still zero. It's skipping this point because it can only do this point. Uh, it can only do this or this, depending if the file was found or not. Right. So the second point it does is here at the end of this, and our value then equals 16. So it's getting our value. Um, it's at this point our value doesn't equal anything. Then it's reading the file. It's getting the line and it's assigning whatever's on that line to our variable, our value. And then once it's done that, then our value will then equal what we want it to equal. Go ahead and check that there. Here. This is how you debug most of your programs by just adding in outprints to check if the data is right. So it says 1, our value equals 0, and then it says here, our value equals 32. So it's now reading the value correctly. Value now equals 64, but at this point, it equals 32. Right, so that's all good. We can move these debugs. And we're good to go. Right, also added parentheses to this block of code here to fix that problem that was happening earlier. Um, so we read the file, we check the value, we multiply or set the value, we write the file, and then we tell us what the output is. Right, so compile one two five six five twelve one thousand twenty four two thousand forty eight etc etc and it's not right in that file it's right in the one in the data directory files there we go the problem I had earlier was I missed off an S on one of these and the director uh, the data for, um directory was wrong as well. Right, so that's it. Thanks for watching.